Good morning, children. I hope you are now familiar with the topic weather and climate, which we did in the last class. Today we will be moving further with the same topic, that is, elements of weather. As far as elements of weather are concerned, there are several. They are temperature, pressure, wind, and so on. Today we are going to learn about the temperature. What is it and how is it measured? Temperature is normally measured by a thermometer. But before we learn what is temp what is the thermometer, let us learn what is temperature. Temperature refers to the hotness or coldness of the air. That is the degree or intensity of hotness or coldness of the air. And that can be measured with the help of a sixes maximum and minimum thermometer. So on your screen, you can see a sixes maximum and minimum thermometer. It is mounted on a wooden plank. It can also look like this. Here also it is mounted on a wooden plank. Now how does this sixes maximum and minimum thermometer works? So we have a diagram which is almost the same as that which is you are having on your book. Now this sixes maximum and minimum thermometer is consisting of a U-tube thermometer. You all can watch that is the it's a glass tube and it is having a shape of the letter U. It is filled with alcohol and mercury. Alcohol in red and mercury in grey. It has got two metal indices. One you can see it over here, another over here. The tube is graduated, that is, it is numbered. Here you can see that it is numbered in an increasing order. And here it is numbered in a decreasing order. Now, this alcohol is completely filled in this bulb while the bulb which is on your right hand side is partially filled. Here there is a vacuum. So when the temperature rises, this alcohol begins to expand and when it expands it pushes itself down the tube towards the right and pushes the mercury up forcing it to rise towards the tube which is having a bulb where there is a vacuum. It will go on rising, that is the alcohol will go on rising till it reaches the maximum temperature. So here it was in an increasing order. So what happened? The index over here will begin to 
move and get stuck where the temperature is maximum. After it has reached the maximum temperature, the temperature begins to decrease because the sun begins to set and the temperature begins to decrease. So when the temperature begins to decrease, this alcohol begins to contract and it will begin to move the mercury down the tube towards the left hand side of the tube and it will carry the index along with it till it reaches the minimum temperature. And when it reaches the minimum temperature, the index gets stuck at the place where it is the minimum temperature. So, the meteorologist calculates the time, that is, what is the, where is the index? during the maximum temperature and where is the index during the minimum temperature and records it. The next day, the meteorologist again uses this YouTube thermometer or the Sixes Maximum and Minimum Thermometer to measure the temperature of the day. But before he uses it, with the help of a magnet, he ensures that the index, metal index is set where the mercury and the alcohol is meeting. So that again when the temperature rises, this index will be moved till where the maximum temperature reaches and when the temperature decreases the alcohol will contract and will lead to the movement of the index towards our left. Alcohol and mercury are commonly used liquids in the thermometer because they expand and contract with the help of the rise and fall of the temperature. This can be easily recorded in a glass tube which has been graduated. For the measurement of temperature, Celsius and Fahrenheit is, are the scales which are used for temperature measurement. Along with this video, I will also be sending you another link which is a tutorial video of how the sixes maximum and minimum thermometer works. This will help you to understand the topic better. After you have watched the video, you will be doing all these question answers in your geography notebook. They are related to the topics which we have done in the last class. These question answers are from page number 27 under section F. For those of you who do not have their books,
please pause the video and copy the questions. Before I end, one important thing which I would like to tell you is the difference between the maximum and minimum temperature of a day is known as the diurnal range of temperature. The difference between the maximum and minimum temperature recorded in a year is called the annual range of temperature. So during the allotted time which has been given to you that is from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock you will be watching the video and also do all the question answers which I have asked you to do. That is what we have enough time for today. Thank you.